Hey there, movie enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the 1967 classic, The Way West. This Western film takes us on an epic journey through the rugged terrains of the American frontier. But wait, there's more to this film than meets the eye. As we unfold its layers, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny moments that'll tickle your funny bone, shocking twists that'll leave you wide-eyed, and poignant scenes that might just tug at your heartstrings. Now, let me throw a couple of questions your way. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Or perhaps you're intrigued by some lesser known facts or anecdotes that make the way West even more fascinating. As we explore the ins and outs of this cinematic gem, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to read them. So grab your popcorn, hit that play button, and let's journey back to the Wild West together. Funny, shocking, and sad facts await, so stay tuned for more. Your stories make this experience richer. In the wide world of classic movies, there's a shining example called The Way West. It came out in 1967 and stands as a great Western film. Imagine this a big journey where pioneers go through wild lands looking for a better life. As the movie starts, you're taken back to a time when the wild frontier was full of adventure and promise. The way West captures that time well, telling a story about the challenges and victories of its characters. At its heart, the way West is more than just about wild places and fights. It's about people's strength, their will to conquer the unknown, their ability to handle tough times, and the friendships they make when things get hard. With a great cast, including actors like Kirk Douglas and Robert Mitchum, the movie brings its characters to life, making them interesting and easy to relate to. Each scene is carefully made, pulling you deeper into the story. But beyond just being entertaining, The Way West shows a bit of history, giving us a peek into the lives of the pioneers who made the American West what it is. Their struggles, sacrifices, and successes are all part of the movie, leaving a strong impression on anyone who watches. As the movie ends, The Way West leaves behind a powerful message about the spirit that built a nation. It's a classic that still connects with people today, inspiring generations. Richard Woodmark, though unable to serve in active duty during World War II due to a perforated eardrum, contributed to the war effort as an air raid warden and entertained servicemen as a member of the American Theater Wing. On a different note, Robert Mitchum is referenced in the Queens of the Stone Age song The Fun Machine Took a Shit and Died featured in their 27 album Era Vulgaris. Additionally, a TV critic reviewing The Winds of War remarked that Mitchum moved as if he were on casters. These anecdotes offer glimpses into the lives and legacies of two prominent figures associated with the film. Richard Widmark, famous for his roles in movies like Pick Up on South Street, Judgment at Nuremberg, and How the West Was Won has left a lasting impression on cinema. His performances are highly valued by the Library of Congress for their importance in culture, history, and beauty. Meanwhile, Kirk Douglas, as he got older, looked back on the opportunities he missed in his career. He felt sorry for saying no to roles in great movies like Stalag 17, The Fall of the Roman Empire, and Cat Balu. Douglas was honest about his early mistakes in his career, admitting that he only made the big trees to break his contract with Warner Brothers, later calling it a terrible movie. These insights show how tricky it can be to navigate Hollywood and the long-lasting effects of important career decisions. In The Way West, Robert Mitchum, known for his roles in other notable films, showcased his endurance on set. At 60 years old, he amazed Oliver Reed by downing an entire bottle of gin in just 55 minutes during the filming of another movie. Mitchum's versatility as an actor is evident in his portrayal of villains, landing two spots on the American Film Institute's list of greatest heroes and villains. He portrayed Max Cady in Cape Fear, ranked 28th, and Reverend Harry Powell in The Night of the Hunter, ranked 29th. Additionally, Richard Widmark, who appeared alongside Henry Fonda in five films, including The Way West, displayed his acting prowess throughout his career. Widmark and Fonda's collaboration span various genres, showcasing their range as actors. In cinema history, there are interesting stories about the cast of the 1967 movie The Way West. One story involves Robert Mitchum, who got caught in a tax case called FTC vs. Mitchum. This legal trouble happened in Australia because of money he made while working on the Sundowners in 1960. Mitchum's part in this case added complexity to his career. Similarly, Kirk Douglas, an experienced actor, made notable career choices. He was supposed to be in Sands of Iwo Jima, but decided to do Champion in 1949 instead, showing his dedication to acting. Lola Albright, another actor in the Way West, started in Akron, Ohio. 
She graduated from West High School in 1942, earning the title of Best Looking Girl. These bits of trivia give us a peek into the lives of those involved in the Way West, adding depth to their already successful careers. Robert Mitchum was slated to star in a film called The Easy Path back in 1950, but the project never came to fruition. Meanwhile, Richard Widmark, known for his breakthrough role in the 1947 crime drama Kiss of Death, solidified his place in Hollywood with his chilling portrayal of Tommy Udo. This role earned him an Oscar nomination and kickstarted a successful five-decade career. Interestingly, the phrase John Wayne Richard Widmark was used as a sign countersign in the movie Viva Max released in 1969. These tidbits offer a glimpse into the diverse trajectories of two prominent actors, adding layers to the cinematic landscape of the era. Robert Mitchum, known primarily as a versatile actor, also had a musical side. Unlike many celebrities who dabbled in music, Mitchum possessed genuine talent as a singer and composer. His distinctive voice was utilized in several of his films when his characters sang, notable examples being Rachel and The Stranger, River of No Return, and The Night of the Hunter. During the filming of Heaven Knows Mr. Allison, Mitchum discovered Calypso music in Tobago, which inspired him to record an album titled Calypso is Like So. Embracing the genre style and slang, he effectively captured its essence. Additionally, he wrote and recorded the Ballad of Thunder Road for the film Thunder Road, which became a modest chart success, enhancing the movie's appeal to a broader audience. Sally Field, while recognized for her acting prowess, missed out on the opportunity to audition for the role of Juliet Capulet in Romeo and Juliet due to conflicting schedules with her television series The Flying Nun. Although she applied for the part, production constraints prevented her from pursuing it further. During the filming of The Last Tycoon, Mitchum found amusement in Robert De Niro's method acting approach. De Niro, fully immersing himself in the character of Monroe Starr, adopted the nickname Kid Monroe from Mitchum. The veteran actor, alongside colleagues such as Ray Mullane and Dana Andrews, often joked about De Niro's dedication to his craft on set. In the 1967 movie The Way West, there were some tensions between Robert Mitchum and Richard Widmark because Kirk Douglas often tried to take control from director Andrew V. McLaglen. Sally Field, a well-known actress, tried out for the part of Elaine Robinson in The Graduate. Also, Harry Carey Jr., who was highly respected in Western movies, was honored in 23 by being put into the Hall of Great Western Performers of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum for his work in the genre. These situations with the cast and crew, along with the actors' notable achievements, added depth to the story of the production, influencing how it's remembered in Western movie history.